Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I got a well-deserved comment in my review of this thing saying that I didn't really put it through its paces in terms of performance. Now, I'll be honest, there are a lot of YouTubers with very cool setups to judge the accuracy of multimeters. And uh, Simple Electronics has this multimeter gauntlet. Other people have high precision resistors and capacitors and things like that to just definitively tell you if a meter is accurate or not. And in general, I go by what they say. But one of the things I can do is give you guys my opinion on how these things are to use. And I thought about it, I can definitively tell you guys how well these things do at auto ranging. Uh, as you guys can see, these are the last four meters that were new that I reviewed on my channel. They are all auto ranging. And what I thought I would do is set them up to this outlet strip. As you can see, all their probes are dangerously connected to the outlet strip in the order of the cheapest to the most expensive on this side, cheapest to most expensive on this side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how fast these things can give you an accurate measurement and we're gonna judge the auto ranging speed of the meters. So the tests that we're gonna perform today are, we're gonna check out high voltage AC, low voltage AC, high voltage DC, low voltage DC, low impedance and high impedance. And then we're also gonna check out the probes to get an idea of the impedance of the probes itself. So the first test we're gonna do is 120 volt AC, contact. Next up, we are going to feed this bad boy about nine volts AC. So as I completed that test, I thought for sure that the rest of the tests were going to come back in the same order. We have the must tool being the slowest and the hand tech was amazingly fast compared to everything else. Sometimes double the speed of the other meters. So all these tests are shown here in seconds. And what I think is kind of crazy is as you switch from AC to DC, the must tool, which was the absolute slowest meter in AC, all of a sudden became the fastest meter in DC and by a pretty big margin. And in fact, on the 32 volt test, the fastest meter in AC was the absolute slowest in DC. So that's just crazy. You wouldn't expect that. And now to make things even more complicated, the only two meters to not win one of the tests above pull out a win in these two resistance tests. It should be noted that the hand tech was not able to finish the high impedance test because it just didn't register. Before I get to my final conclusions, I want to talk a little bit about my test setup. And uh, I know this seems a little janky, uh, but this is an outlet strip and at different times I went anywhere from 110 volts AC all the way down to um, putting 1.5 DC and uh, put some different resistance on these two prongs here. And I know that seems a little janky and I mean obviously you'd want to be careful with AC sticking out these plugs. But um, what it did allow me to do, I was able to test and I got similar resistance across all of these things. It, it basically allowed me to flip a switch and every meter to get the signal in basically the same time. Now, you could say, well, hey, these meters are gonna conflict with each other as they're trying to auto range. And that is true, but they were all at the same disadvantage, essentially. So they all had to fight with each other. It wasn't like one particular meter had to fight with another one. And so um, the solution may not be perfect and it definitely caused issues in terms of 
being able to measure resistance, they were the resistance readings were all over the place between the meters. And in fact, as I mentioned earlier, the hand tech couldn't read the 100K ohm or the one meg resistor, no matter what you did. It would read it if I hooked it straight to the meter. But you know, when you're trying to measure stuff like this, there's so much, um, you know, human variance and stuff like that, that I wanted to, to, instead of trying to hand time each meter, I really wanted all the meters to just read it at the same time and spit something out. So this is what I came up with. It's not perfect, but I do feel like, you know, I mean, if you want to say that there's some advantage or disadvantage being down this side, I put the most expensive meter the furthest away from the source. I gave the cheapest one the front space and, you know, they just all had to fight it out. So um, I would love to know if anybody has any concrete disadvantages of doing it this way, uh, but I thought it kind of worked for what I was trying to do. So I was able to draw more conclusions from this test than I actually thought I'd be able to. Now, I, you know, well, this is anecdotal, but um, on my, you know, on my bench, this is what I came up with. Uh, the first thing involves these two meters. They're both great. I reviewed this one as kind of my throw it in the bag and take with my AC electrical stuff. And this one is the one that I've kept on the bench. Now, the ironic thing is that this one is a lot better as far as speed for auto ranging AC and this one is substantially better for DC. Now I would imagine, I've seen the reviews on this one, um, I would imagine this is a higher accuracy meter. It's like in the $30 range and I think this one's like 15 or 20. Um, but you know in terms of sheer speed this is actually the better DC meter and this is a better AC meter. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, I also mentioned earlier that every single one of these meters was fastest at something. So you've got AC, DC, and then each one of these split one of the resistance tests. Uh, I think this one did uh, low impedance faster, this one did high impedance faster. So that was kind of interesting. I was kind of surprised that the um, bench meter was not very fast. But one thing that really surprised me is just how great of a multimeter this thing is. You know, you you look at it as an oscilloscope first and probably a function generator second, and the multimeter was kind of a throw-in in my opinion, but using this thing, just kind of messing around with it, going through the menus and all that, like using this thing as a multimeter. Now, I mean, it's not something I would carry up into an attic, but it is kind of a joy to use as a multimeter. And I think you shouldn't overlook this as something that you would, use in your lab every single day. This isn't just a throw it in the bag and use it when you need something on the road. Um, I did say I was going to test all the probes and I did. They all came in about the same resistance. Uh, some of them were longer than each than others, but they came in at 0. 0.6 to 0. 0.8 ohms. Uh, basically, as they would say, nears makes no difference. No real difference there. So in terms of these meters, I would say you can't really go wrong. Um, the viewers of this channel absolutely love the Kaiweets HT118A. This is a great everyday meter, great auto ranging. I love the fact that it lights up when you get in high voltage. I uh, love the fact that these things light up to tell you where to stick the probes and all that stuff. Um, as I've said before, this one is just a great cheap meter, way better than the Harbor Freight one, and I think absolutely worth the 20 bucks. Um, this thing, if you want a bench meter, it doesn't seem to excel in any particular thing, although the other reviews I have read said that it was very accurate, and so it, it may not be fast, but it does measure to more um, precision and more decimal places, and, and it is actually accurate to those, you know, decimal places, as I've seen other reviewers say. And then finally the hand tech, um, this thing is great. It's a great scope, easy to use. It's a nice little function generator, easy to use. If you saw my other video on it, you saw that it has software that comes along with it. So you could um, view this stuff on your computer. You can log it and you know export it as an Excel file or a CSV or something like that. But as a multimeter, it's a very good multimeter. So I'm happy with it. So. Um, I've had the times in seconds up on the screen so you can see the actual data that I collected, but uh, that's what I came up with. Hey, thanks for challenging me and uh, have a great day.